All right, so lesson 99 is on fraction decimal percent equivalents. <clears throat> so here I have this table, and it wants, me, it wants me to figure out what the decimal equivalent and the percent equivalent of the number given is. So 1 half, okay, I know, is equal to 0 0.5. Now if you didn't know that, you can divide uh, 1 divided by 2, and you would get 0 0.5. So the decimal equivalent is 0 0.5. And now I need to turn that in a percent. So looking at it, well, I know that this is in the tenths place, so that's 5 tenths, which I need to change it so it has a denominator of 100. So it's going to be 50 over 100. So it's going to be 50 percent. The other way to look at that is you can say one half times by 100 percent. Okay. The 102 cancel, 2 becomes a 1, 100 becomes a 50 percent. Okay. Same either way. Right, on the next one, C, I have the decimal 0 0.3. So 0 0.3, I know that the 3 is in the tenths place. So that means it's going to be 3 tenths. Now I need to change it into a percent, so I can do that by multiplying 0 0.3 times by 100%. Okay. That means I'm going to move this decimal place over twice, so it's going to be 30%. Okay. 1, 2, add my 0. Alright, and the last one is it gives me the percent, 40%. And I need to change that into a fraction, a decimal. I know that 40% is equal to 40 per 100. I can now reduce, cancel the zeros, and that reduces down to 2 fifths. Okay, and now I need to change 40% into a decimal. So I know that 40%, that means that the 40 has to be in the hundredths place. So it's going to be 0. 4, 0. But since we know we can reduce and simplify, I can get rid of this extra 0, and my answer is 0 0.4. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more for practice. So if we have 3 fifths, I want to change that into a decimal. In this case, I'm going to have to divide. 5 divided by 3. 3 goes into 5. Oh, wrong way. The top number goes inside. 5 divided by 3, there we go. Add my decimal and a 0, decimal. 5 goes into 30, 6 times. So the decimal is 0. 0.6. That means the percent is going to be 60%. If you have the number in this place value, you know it's going to be, you're going to have to add a 0 to it. So 60%. Okay. On C, I have 0. 0.8, so that means for the fraction it's going to be 8 tenths, which reduces down to four fifths. So C is four fifths. And then for the percent, again, it's in this place value, so I know that I would add a zero to get it in the hundredths place, and it would be 80%. Okay. On the next one, I'm giving 20%. That means the decimal is going to be 0.2 because it's in the, or two zero, but we need to erase that zero anyway. And then E is going to be 20 over 100, which reduces down to one fifth. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you finish the rest. Good luck on your homework.